Hello everyone, I'm here with John Graham and today we're talking about DMR Tier 2 and Tier 3. Now, Tate offers both DMR Tier 2 and Tier 3, correct? I do, yes. So, is one of them better than the other? Well, it depends on what I'm putting customers on the spot are actually going to use it. It depends on the customer's requirement. Okay, so it depends on the customer's requirement. Uh, so let's say I'm a customer and I'm trying to decide between Tier 2 or Tier 3. Uh, what would be the things I'm looking at if I go with Tier 2? Okay, so for Tier 2, you'd normally be looking to, dis to use it as a replacement for a conventional system that you currently have. Okay. So if you have a small capacity conventional system, maybe with somewhere between uh, well, basically one and maybe 80 users, mm -hmm. then DMR Tier 2 would be good. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter the coverage area, it's just the smaller number of users, probably only a couple of teams actually using it, uh, and primarily for voice rather than for data. Okay, so DMR Tier 2 can cover wide areas or small areas. It's really about the size, the number of people you have on the system. Correct. Okay. It's the uh, capacity you require. Yeah. So what about DMR Tier 3? What kind of organization would that work for? Well, Tier 3 would work better for an organization that had needed large capacity. So an example of that would be somebody who has an existing MPT 1327 system, and therefore that would become the natural transition for them. Anybody who has large wide area systems with lots of channels and having to deal with fairly large capacity issues, say a lot more than 80 users, up to hundreds or thousands, and tier three can scale all the way up to handling very large numbers of users over very wide areas of coverage, for instance, a whole country. Now you mentioned with DMR Tier 2 that it's primarily voice. DMR Tier 3 is quite good with voice and data. So is that, if you wanted to use GridLink, would you need DMR Tier 3? Absolutely. If you want voice and data, you really need to be looking at Tier 3. So for example, GridLink only functions uh, in the Tier 3 environment. And the benefits of Tier 3 is it can handle that uh, balance between the use of voice and data far better than you can do it in Tier 2. Okay. Well, hey, that's all I've got. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Thanks, John. Thank you.